Hi, my name is Brooke Haggerty and I am the Food Chick. Welcome to today's episode of For the Love of Food. Today we're going to be exploring one of my favorite foods and that is soup. I could eat soup 365 days a year. A lot of people tell me I'm crazy for that, but I don't think so. I love it. So what we're going to do today is something very simple and easy. It's one soup, three ways. We're going to use my basic vegetable uh, soup recipe, and we're going to turn it Mexican style, Italian style, and Greek style using some wonderful fresh ingredients. So I already have one pot of soup going. I started that a little bit earlier today. I'll go ahead and show you how I got that going. We used some, I used some wonderful fresh ingredients today. A beautiful Vidalia onion, some plum tomato, as well as some canned uh, diced tomato, celery, a little bit of uh, green zucchini, yellow squash, and carrots. So what I did is I started off with my the Holy Trinity, mirepoix of, of soups as far as I'm concerned. We have celery, onion, and carrot. And I did that all in just a nice little dice. I actually, my celery was just very little like this. You know, straight on down, very simple. You don't, it doesn't have to be difficult. So there's my celery there. My onion, I did the same thing. I just cut it straight down. And I only used half an onion in this recipe and half, half of a head of celery. And you're gonna see what a huge bowl of soup that came out of this. So I took my skin off from here and we just cut it in half. Again, I did another small dice straight down here. So there's our onion and then our carrot I like to leave the skin on my carrot, so I just gave them a, a quick wash. Gave my carrot a quick wash. And if it was a skinny carrot, a super skinny carrot, I did. I just left it whole. This one's a little thicker. So you just cut it there. And again, just a nice, nice dice. Because even though this is vegetable soup, we still want it to be nice and hearty. So I started off with my carrots, celery, and onion with a little bit of extra virgin olive oil in my, in my soup pot over here. So my soup pot has been going. Um, I, go, I went ahead and that had a little bit of lemon pepper, a little bit of truffle salt, a little bit of garden herb seasoning, and I used a fresh, I used a, um, a wet garlic mix in here today. Uh, just a little bit, just to add a little bit of extra moisture in there because there wasn't a lot of moisture to start other than what is going to sweat off from the carrot, the celery, and the onion. So I had that in my soup pot. I let that go for about five or 10 minutes. Um, then I went ahead and I cut up two each, zucchini and yellow squash in the same size dice, which was really, you know, very simple. Throw it right in there. There's a lot of moisture in these two items. So it, it added some moisture real quickly to that. So once that was done, I um, added my can of diced tomatoes nice can, little can of diced tomatoes and a couple of fresh plum tomatoes. I just cut them up again with a little dice in there, just same similar size dice as my carrot, celery, onion, squash, and zucchini. And voila, 20 minutes later, I have this gorgeous soup. So my soup is now cooking, has been cooking for about 20 minutes. Oh, I forgot I did add, oops. I did add my vegetable stock, just four cups of vegetable stock. So what you're gonna do, again, let's go over these steps one more time. We're gonna cut up our carrot, celery, and onion in bite-sized pieces. And then we're going to cook that down with a little bit of a lemon pepper, truffle salt, garden herb seasoning, and garlic, or any of your favorite seasonings. Don't feel like you have to, don't pigeon yourself your whole, pigeonhole yourself into this. So we've got, we sweat those down for about five or 10 minutes. We added our zucchini and our squash and a can of diced tomatoes, as well as a couple of plum tomatoes, again, in the same small dice that we had before. Let them cook for a few minutes. Then I added four cups of vegetable stock. So now our stock is in there. 
We've been going for about 15 minutes again. And here we go. A beautiful, beautiful vegetable soup. Easy to make, 20 minutes to cook. Okay, so I'm gonna take my lid off from there and I'm gonna show you how to make this soup. We're gonna turn it into vegetable soup three ways. Our Mexican version today is going to have a little jalapeno. We're gonna have a little jalapeno, a little red onion, because you need a little bit more fresh red onion, some gorgeous cilantro, and some lime zest. So this is just gonna be a beautiful little topper for our soup. Okay, so let's go ahead and get our items diced up here. So again, a nice big red onion. I'm just gonna use a little bit of this because I'm doing, you know, this is something fun that you could do if you were having a, a party. You could have a soup bar, a basic soup recipe, and then have all these other toppings that people can use. So, here's our red onion, and this red onion is gorgeous. I wish you could smell this. One day we're gonna have smell vision I promise you. Okay, so I've got my red onion here, and a nice dice there. Make this as big or as little as you want. Some people really like the bite of the red onion. It is rather pungent. Um, me, particularly, I like it a little bit of a smaller dice. So I'm gonna keep that at a smaller dice. But I've got that. I've got my jalapeno, my ever trusty jalapeno. So my jalapeno. If you like spice, you can leave the seed in. If you don't want it as spicy, go ahead and take the seeds and the ribs out. That's where most of your heat is gonna be. But if, again, if you want that, leave that in there. Also, be careful not to touch your face after you're, after you're playing with these peppers. Otherwise, you're going to be in for a world of a sore eyeball. Okay, so then we've got our little bit of jalapeno there. Cilantro, we're just gonna take our cilantro and take a couple of leaves off from here. You can, if you like the stem, you can definitely just cut the stem off from there. Sometimes I think the, the stem, um, to me it'll get, you know, it'll get stuck between my teeth. So I don't always like a cilantro stem stuck between my teeth, even though I love the flavor of the cilantro leaf. The stem, not so much stick in between my teeth. So let me grab my bowl here and let's ladle this out. Oh my gosh, this vegetable soup smells so good. So simple, delicious, and nutritious. Again, carrot, celery, onion, squash, zucchini, and we're gonna turn it into something special here. So we're just gonna take a little bit of red onion Right there. So this is going to add a little crunch to it too. So a little bit of red onion there, a little bit of jalapeno. Yum! A little bit of jalapeno, a little cilantro. I'm going to grab my zester and we're going to zest a little bit of lime, a little lime zest right on the top there. Just a little bit there for color. If you want to, you can go ahead and um, squeeze your lime down and add a little fresh lime ju juice to that as well. I'm a huge fan of avocado, so I'm gonna put a little avocado in here as well. I'm just gonna cut my avocado down. Look how gorgeous that baby is inside there. Beautiful, bright green. I'm gonna use the side that doesn't have the pit in it because we're, I'm going to store this away. You store it with the pit in it, and it'll keep the green in your avocado. So let me go ahead and slice this down. You'll take a couple of fresh slices of avocado there. Beautiful fresh avocado. And it would not be a little soup without some beautiful fresh queso fresco on there. So there's our first way of our vegetable soup. This is our vegetable soup Mexican style. Let's get cleaned up. 
Okay, so here we are. Now we're gonna go a little Italian style. With the Italian style, we're gonna use, use some fresh arugula. That's gonna add a beautiful peppery flavor to it. We're gonna put in some more fresh tomato. This is, again, adding the, the brightness of the tomato, that of the raw tomato will really, really be pretty in that. We've got some gorgeous fresh basil we're gonna put in here as well. And some fresh mozzarella as a nice topper on that. So let me grab my, uh, my Italian soup bowl. Again, my vegetable soup, carrot, celery, onion, squash, zucchini, vegetable stock, tomato. Okay, so I'm gonna take my beautiful fresh tomato here. And look how pretty that is on the inside. I love using a nice Roma tomato. Um, you don't have, you don't need, really need to worry about cutting the tops off. You can really use the whole thing. Um, I think I'm actually gonna have a little taste of one right now. Mm, a little salt on there. That's absolutely delicious. So we're just gonna take our Roma tomato, cut that just a little bit there. Put it right on top of our beautiful soup. Some fresh arugula right down in that arugula. Again, the peppery flavor is going to go with that tomato so well. Then we're going to, we're going to add some fresh basil. The basil, again, add just that little bit of brightness that you need to it. So there's my basil. And that's all going to get mixed up into there. And it wouldn't be an Italian soup, as far as I'm concerned, if, without a little bit of fresh mozzarella. Who doesn't love some gorgeous fresh mozzarella? Look how beautiful that slices down. Mm. Just break that up a little bit on there. And because I really, really like that truffle salt on my tomato earlier. We're just gonna add just a tad bit of truffle salt right there and a little bit of lemon pepper. Okay, so there we go. We've got our Mexican, our Italian. It's time to move over to the Greek style. For our Greek style, what we're gonna use is we're going to use a fresh lemon. We're gonna zest that fresh lemon. Um, what I'm gonna do is, and we're also gonna squeeze some fresh lemon juice in it. I'm going to go ahead and roll that out so we get those juices really moving inside of there. So when we squeeze it, it's going to come out. We're going to get a, the, our most bang for our buck with the juice. We're also going to use one of my favorite herbs, and that is fresh dill. I couldn't, I, I just love dill. It's just so versatile. It's, it is, le, it can be lemony. It can be whatever you want it to be. It's just fantastic. And it's gorgeous on a plate. And then I'm also going to use these beautiful, beautiful onions I got. I picked these up at one of my local, local farmer's markets right here in Carroll County. Um, and this is, we're just going to slice these down real thin, right over top of our soup. And then we're going to add some crumbled feta cheese. We're not going to need to add any additional salt to this one because the feta cheese has got enough saltiness in it. Okay. So third bowl, my favorite new bowl, our vegetable soup. Okay, our vegetable soup here. So let's go ahead and zest uh, some lemon right over top. And we're gonna put a little more on afterwards too. I just wanna get that lemon zest in there and I wanna get a little bit of juice in there. So I'm just gonna go down towards the end of the lemon so it'll be easier for me to zest. So some fresh lemon juice in there. I'm gonna take one of my beautiful onions. These are absolutely gorgeous. I'm just gonna slice that down. Put that right on top. Oh, look at that, look at that beautiful purple. That's gonna mix up beautifully into that soup. Take some fresh dill. I'm just gonna shave this. I, I like to call it shaving the fresh dill down. I'm gonna shave that down. The dill will go right in there. Mm. 
and a little bit of feta cheese. Okay, so there you have it. You have one soup served three ways. And don't be afraid if you've got people who aren't your vegetable eaters because something really special that you can do, it's very simple to do. Pop it in your oven on a Sunday morning and you've got it to add to your dinners, your vegetable dinners all week long. I have this gorgeous turkey breast. I bought this turkey breast. I cooked it in my oven for about an hour and a half this morning. It's just a five pound breast, uh, lemon pepper, truffle salt, a little bit of olive oil, um, nothing else. Just right, I put it in my cast iron pot and stuck it in the oven 400 degrees for about an hour and a half and it came out absolutely gorgeous. You can slice this down, put it right on top of your soups. Let's see what that looks like if we do that. Ho, ho, ho. Look at that. Oh, this is carving beautifully. You can take that skin right off from there. Beautiful, fresh sliced turkey breast. Can go right on top of your soups if you like, or serve it on the side, make it into a little sandwich to go with your soup. Any way you want to do it, it's going to be absolutely gorgeous. The bottom line is this whole, this entire meal from start to finish not including the turkey, is if I make this soup, this soup, literally a 25 minute soup, and then I add my toppings, perfect for your finicky eaters, perfect for a soup bar, if you're having a soup bar. And another great thing about this vegetable soup, it can be served cold. Okay, so here you have it. You have three, you have one soup made three ways, and actually one soup made four, five, or six ways if you wanna add a protein to it. So basic vegetable soup, Everybody loves a vegetable soup. It's hearty, it's delicious, and you're finishing it off three different ways. Mexican, Italian, Greek, and adding your protein. My name is Brooke Haggerty, I'm the Food Chick. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. Have a wonderful day, everyone.